In this video, I'm going to break down all of the new features coming to Overwatch 2 that have been announced so far. And to begin with, we're going to take a look at the new roadmap. This gives us a game overview, which states free to play live service, easy for everyone to jump in and play together. PVP reimagined, seasonal model, free updates every nine weeks to ensure there's always something new to experience. Cross progression, PVE experiences, and then they go into detail on the content roadmap for the various seasons which are upcoming. Firstly, we're going to take a look at this. These are the key principles of Overwatch 2. It is now a free-to-play live service. PvP has been reimagined to 5v5. Nine-week seasonal model. Robust content roadmap. New hero every other season. Cross-progression. PvE experiences. So let's take a look at the seasons in more detail. The first season, we will get three new heroes, six new maps, a new game mode, and 30 plus new skins and new mythic skins. More details on those in a second. December the 6th, we'll get a new tank hero, a new map, 30 new skins, new mythic skin, and a new battle pass. And then in 2023, we're expecting to see over 100 he uh, he heroes, that would be mental, no, 100 skins and PvE begins although we don't know when looking at releasing heroes every other season and then a map in between those and on top of that we're looking at dropping a ton of content involving skins and other great goodies for players to get their hands on for each seasonal drop overwatch 2 will also feature brand new cosmetics on the screen you can see the new charms now there are a whole host of these charms they attach to various weapons in the game this is standard customization seen across the entire free-to-play industry i think this is cool what is really cool though is if you look at the genji face mask that is from the mythic genji skin which will be launching with season one for weapon charms really what we're looking for there is just for the players to be able to express themselves and dress their character up. One of our core tenets on Overwatch visually is to focus a lot on the first person view. We want you to be able to see it and enjoy it while you're playing the game. Overwatch 2 will also feature banners. Now, you may have seen these before in the game. Tracer has a Horde or Alliance banner from a few years ago. It looks like they've taken that idea and now there will be a whole host of banner emotes that will be available. And of course, what we can see here is the standard Overwatch logo with Junker Queen. Now, there's also these kind of weird emotes. Now, I'm not really sure sure uh, if these are great i don't know time will tell uh, this is hammond i think with a salt shaker jumping out of his uh, mech we see junkrat with a gg um yeah and uh, as you're about to see in a second there is also one for lucio but i'm a i don't know i'm a bit perplexed with these they look kind of a bit cheap i don't know maybe they look better in the game who knows and along with the free-to-play change, we're doing away with loot boxes entirely. We have a new Battle Pass model coming in, and we have store as well. So let's take a look at this Battle Pass. Now, I'll run this video a few times, then we'll freeze frame it and take a look. Um, it was only shown for a few seconds in the reveal trailer. Um, but yeah, we're now getting a Battle Pass in Overwatch. What's interesting is there appears to be Battle Pass challenges and also an upgraded Battle Pass, which is pretty standard. You have a free Battle Pass and a premium. You can kind of see some of the reward track here. So you can see a number of the rewards are listed as premium and some are free. So if you don't buy the Battle Pass, you'd get the XP reward for the Battle Pass, but you wouldn't get all of the other skins and items. Now, it must be noted this is work in progress. So items and skins that are on this probably will change. Uh, yeah, then we get to see Lucio. And I believe this is showing his sort of pro progress to unlocking various rewards um, which I think is kind of cool again this is all standard battle pass stuff if you played any game with a battle pass this will look very familiar to you and this looks really familiar to me because up until about last week I actually had that on my car key ring <laughs> uh, it broke though <laughs> it snapped so hopefully it doesn't break in the game also we've got a bit more information here so you can see this is the collector's overwatch origins or the collection for overwatch origins reward lock collection of four items 500 xp from the battle pass which is common diva weapon charm rare a reinhardt skin a lucio skin both legendary but you will notice that this requires the premium battle pass and that will be one of the main monetization systems of overwatch 2 and i can't wait to get more details about this in the future for Genji, he's got this kind of cyberpunk Japanese demonic theme. Mythic skins are meant to be this next tier of skins above legendary. We want players to be able to go in there and pick and choose certain pieces meant to be this extra awesome legendary skin that you can customize. We're concurrently developing quite a few mythic skins. They're going to be released over the seasons. 
Overwatch 2 will feature Mythic skins. If anybody is a World of Warcraft player, you will know what Mythic means. It is the highest tier of loot in the game. It is the same for Overwatch 2, it would appear. Now, these skins are above and beyond a legendary skin. They are customizable. They've got special effects. They've got special animations. They are absolutely the next level of skin design in Overwatch. And the best thing about Overwatch is it basically has industry-leading cosmetic design. So I cannot wait to see what happens with these skins. You can see a few more examples there of different color variations. Now, as I said, they've got special animations, special animations on the Dragon Blade and all kinds of stuff. This, these skins are insane. Now, the kind of question is i don't know how these will be attainable will they be at the end of the battle pass probably i think or will they be directly buyable i don't know maybe they will be if the battle pass therein expires again i'm not sure that's all kind of speculatory off me but yeah these look absolutely sick important to us was to make sure that players if they earn anything in the game anywhere that they're able to use it everywhere so if you earn something on console or on pc or on overwatch one you can always use it in anywhere in overwatch two as well and with each new season, there'll be a ton of new content and a new battle pass as well. These seasonal updates will allow us to be constantly infusing the game with new content, new heroes, new maps. So the game is going to feel fresh just all the time. Competitive play is a different thing to a lot of different people. And we really didn't think we were providing enough tools and measures to actually help players out if they did want to improve. We're reworking our scoreboard to provide more information uh, to players as they're like, playing through the match. But then once they finish the match, we're actually going to provide an after-action report. So you can look at the report while you're in queue. You can actually go into uh, your history section and look. We want to work towards providing you with information that will help you improve your game. Overwatch 2 will feature a complete overhaul to competitive. Now, while details are kind of light on this, there are some key facts that we know. This is one of the new history screens they've got available. What I think is really interesting here is you see the, the hero's name, Baby Coco or Baby Coco, and then you see World's Best Sniper. So maybe you can sort of give yourself a nickname. That'd be really cool. But anyway, they're going to enhance this system. It's going to be easier for us to get more data when we're sort of finishing a game and we can learn from that and hopefully become better players as a result. Also, another interesting thing is they are removing SR. You will still have a rank, but now they're moving to a tiered system. Now, we don't have details on this just yet, but I presume this will be something very similar to Apex Legends. Let's say you, you kind of will be Plat 1, Plat 2, Plat 3, Plat 4, Plat, plat 5 maybe, uh, and that's the system. We do want to actually provide a bit of like feeling of progression. So one of the other changes we're making alongside that is not making your skill rating quite so granular. Right now, it's a very hard number. Instead of a numeric skill rating, we're adding these skill tiers within the larger ones. If you see someone at a really high skill tier, you know that that person is not just that good of an Overwatch player, but they've earned it. We've got two more supports and another tank in just the first couple of seasons. And we're still working on new characters for a year, year and a half down the line as well. There's characters that folks have already seen glimpses of in the story, and there's also characters that you've never seen before, never heard about. We were looking at making sure the new heroes fit within this new, very fast-paced paradigm and less shields and crowd control. You can see a lot of that reflected in team play moments, but with a much faster paced vibe. There's also a bunch of new maps coming to Overwatch 2. Now, we do know that in the next beta, Rio will be playable, and I believe this is a payload map. Uh, there will be other maps coming as well. Uh, this new map, Lisbon, I believe, or Portugal, will be available. It appears to be a push map, or it is, in fact, confirmed to be a push map by uh, Dion, the art director. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming to Overwatch 2. Now, I think what we're going to do is recap everything. According to the Overwatch 2 reveal video, these are the features we are going to receive in Overwatch 2. The game is going free to play. It will feature a live service model, which means frequent updates. It will have cross-platform progression. That means you retain all of your items and progression on any platform you play the game. That is massive. Nine weeks seasonal updates. This means every nine weeks there will be a big seasonal update. These will feature a hero, then a map, a hero, then a big update, a hero, then a map, a hero, then a game mode. There will be a hero every other season, I believe. Free battle pass, a premium battle pass with premium rewards and cosmetics. Brand new cosmetics, brand new emotes, 
mythic skins which go way and above what a legendary skin is and are attempting to redefine cosmetic skins in the industry. New maps, a new tiered ranked system, banner cosmetics, weapon charms, and I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we've got today when it comes to the Overwatch 2 feature list. Now, do let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this. It is really cool to me to finally be given some solid info on Overwatch 2 and what the game will contain. I've been Stylosa. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, remember, you can follow me on everything, which is at Stylosa. Do leave a comment, do like the video and do subscribe. It helps an absolute ton. And I'll catch you lovely, lovely lot on the next video. See you soon.